So in this video, I'm going to talk about degrees of unsaturation with atoms other than just carbon and hydrogen. And so the three main types of atoms we're going to consider, we're going to consider oxygen, we're going to consider the halogens, and we're going to consider nitrogen and their effects on the degree of unsaturation or also known as the index of hydrogen deficiency. And so first let's start off with talking about oxygen. And so we're going to use this molecule for an example. And so when you have an oxygen atom, there is no effect on the degree of unsaturation. And so what do I mean by that? Well, if you look at this molecule, C5H10O, it's going to be equivalent talk when we're talking about degree of unsaturation it's going to be equivalent to C5H10 because the oxygen doesn't do anything. It has no effect on the degree of unsaturation. And so what we do to calculate the degree of unsaturation or the index of hydrogen deficiency for this atom is we're going to first find the total number of hydrogen atoms that a fully saturated molecule with five carbons would have. And so we use that formula of 2n plus 2, and so n being 5. And so a fully saturated molecule would have 12 hydrogens. And so next what we're going to do is we're going to subtract 10 from 12 because that's the number of hydrogens we're given for this molecule. And then finally divided by 2. So then we're left with one as the degree of unsaturation or as the index of hydrogen deficiency. And so the degree of unsaturation, it just, for all of these atoms that are not only carbon and hydrogen, you're just playing around with the number of hydrogens that you will account for. And now let's talk about it. Let's do an example with halogens. And so for the halogens, we're going to use this molecule as an example. And so when we're talking about molecules with halogens, you have to add the number of halogens to the number of hydrogens. And so what do I mean by that? Well, C, we have C3, H4, Br, and then an F. And so the bromine and the fluorine are halogens. And so you have two halogens. And so you're going to add that to the number of hydrogens. So this molecule up here when it comes to degree of unsaturation is equivalent to this molecule down here so C3H6 and so now we're just gonna find the index of hydrogen deficiency so we're gonna get 8 minus 6 divided by 2 equals 1 and if you're not familiar with calculating the degree of unsaturation or the index of hydrogen deficiency Go back a video, I'll post the link right here for you to take a look at. Now finally, let's talk about what happens when you have nitrogens. So when you have nitrogens in a molecule, you're going to subtract the number of nitrogens from the number of hydrogens. So it's essentially the opposite of halogens. And so as you can see, this molecule C5H5N is equivalent to C5H4 when you're talking about degrees of unsaturation. And so to calculate it, we're going to do 12 minus 4 over 2. And so that's going to give you 4. So the index of hydrogen deficiency or degree of unsaturation is going to be 4. And so that pretty much sums it up for this video. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video or found it useful, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe if you haven't yet for more videos like this.